Peace be upon you. In this video, we present a scientific miracle of the Holy Quran, the deadly sound. The inner ear is composed of the cochlea and vestibular system. In 1928, the Hungarian biophysicist Georg von Bekesy, born 1899, died 1972, discovered that the basilar membrane, a stiff structural element within the cochlea, moves like a surface wave due to sound. He used a microscope to examine the basilar membrane and the cochlea. He noted that high-frequency sounds cause more vibration in the part of the inner ear responsible for hearing. If the sounds had high frequencies and high amplitudes, high vibration would take place in the cochlea, leading to damage in the inner ear. Extremely high sounds would lead to death. A loud sound may create an air bubble in the human lung and travel to the heart, causing death. If the air pressure in the lung is too high, the lung will burst which will also lead to death. A sound level of 200 decibels, which is a unit used to measure the level of sound, is enough to cause death. An acceptable sound level is about 60 decibels, which is the typical noise level in our daily life, while a loud music concert may be up to 120 decibels. Loud sounds above 85 decibels are considered harmful for human health. The decibel was invented in 1928 based on the discovery of the telephone in 1885 by the Scottish-born American inventor and scientist Alexander Graham Bell, born 1847, died 1922. It was named Bell in honor of the pioneering work of Alexander Graham Bell in telecommunications. The decibel scale has helped us to understand the level of damaging and killing sounds. Advances in military technologies led to the development of sonic and ultrasonic weapons, USW, which make use of loud sounds to injure and kill. Although the development of USW is currently limited, sonic bullets and cannons have been made. Some police forces around the world have used sonic cannons to disrupt protesters. In the Holy Quran, more than 1,400 years ago, the effect of extremely high sound on humans is mentioned in the story of the tribe of Thamud, the people who were killed by a shout or a loud sound. Chapter 11, verse 67, And the shout struck those who transgressed, and they became motionless bodies in their homes. The Arabic word used in this verse is to describe a loud sound, which means to shout or scream. Thank you for watching this video.